Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we wrap multiple strings in HTML the React way? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is building an entity highlighter that allows users to upload a text file, view its contents, and highlight specific words. They want to visually highlight these words in the text, but they're facing a challenge with rendering in React. The current approach involves wrapping highlighted words in HTML markup, but this leads to using dangerously set inner HTML, which complicates event handling. Our viewer is looking for a more React-friendly solution that maintains performance, especially with large documents. So the big question is, what's the best way to achieve this? How can we ensure our code remains simple and readable while avoiding performance pitfalls? Let's explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To highlight multiple strings in React, we need to transform our text into an array of elements. This allows us to wrap specific words in markup while maintaining the ability to attach events. First, let's create a function that processes the text and entities. We'll split the text into paragraphs and then iterate through each paragraph to find and wrap the entities. Inside this function, we will use a regular expression to find each entity in the paragraph. For each entity found, we will replace it with a React element, such as a span, that can have an on-click event. Finally, we will return an array of React elements. This array will include both the text and the highlighted entities, allowing React to render them efficiently. By following this approach, we maintain performance while ensuring that we can attach events to our highlighted entities. This way, we adhere to React's best practices without sacrificing functionality. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user shares an efficient method for wrapping multiple strings in HTML using React. They highlight the importance of performance, noting that the complexity increases with the number of paragraphs and keywords. They tested their method with a large data set and found that loading can be slow. The suggestion is to render the first 10 paragraphs initially and load more as the user scrolls. The user provides a code snippet demonstrating their solution, which includes a term component for highlighting keywords and a formatted text component for rendering paragraphs. They also include a link to a JS fiddle for further exploration of their example. Let's now look at another user suggested answer.
Here's a solution for wrapping multiple strings in HTML using React. It employs a regex to split the input string based on specified keywords. The code defines a React component that highlights keywords in a given input string. It handles case insensitivity and preserves the original case of matches. In the render method, the component generates regex patterns for each keyword and applies the highlight function to the input string. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To wrap multiple strings in HTML, the React way, start by splitting your paragraph into an array of words. Next, map over the words array to create span tags, allowing for double-click events on each word. When a word is double-clicked, the highlight selected function is triggered, which updates the component's state. The check highlighted function checks if a word is in the state array determining if it should be highlighted. Lastly, the format word function cleans up the word by removing punctuation and converting it to lowercase. And that's how you can wrap multiple strings in HTML using React. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.